Well, it's good. Can you see me now? Yeah, I can see you. All right, babe, 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 babe. okay. Well, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> you got light. You got. I want to make make your camera brighter. Make my camera brighter. Like your light brighter. You got any light around? Kind of like in the dark. Yeah, I'm in the dark, but it looks pretty bright to me. Yeah, you you make it brighter. I want people to like fully see your face. That's okay. That's as bright as my laptop goes. Oh, you can't. Can you like your regular light? Damn. Yeah, like I want, I want it bright though. I want, you know, it is bright. bright. It ain't bright enough though. Can you turn it on bright for me? No. Is that too much to ask for right now? Yeah, I don't like the light shining in my face. Okay. Tell everybody where you born and raised. It. I was born in Philadelphia, but not really. I mean, kind of. So, like, I lived in Philly for ten years, and I lived in Florida for ten years. Okay, so, um, so are you Instagram famous? Would you like to say are you social media? No, famous? I'm just chilling. You just chilling? Okay. okay. Now, how long you had your social media? You got like a lot of followers. Uh, for a long time. I don't know, like middle school. Okay. Can you tell everybody your name? I don't think you got your name yet. Talia, Talia, Talia. Okay. Okay, so what you like and dislike about social media? Um, I like the opportunity that's on social media. Um, like that's what I use it for. Um, you know, a lot of photographers, a lot of networking. So I like that aspect of it, but I don't like how everybody feels like they got something to prove on social media. Like people don't use it to their advantage. They use it to like be in people's business or compare themselves to other people. I don't like that. Like that's why I barely follow anybody. Like I don't see. I don't like seeing that shit. You feel like there's a lot of negativity on there. Yeah, like you gotta. That's why you really gotta like monitor who you follow and what you put out and things like that. Okay. You watch. You watch what you post on social media, or you just don't really care. Not really, because I have so many people. Like I get a lot of DMs of like younger girls or like people that like support me heavy so I like to be transparent about like what I go through and I try to like tell the truth like shit it might look sweet but it's not like I go through shit just like everybody everybody else okay okay but I don't really like monitor what I post I mean I put everything out there shit you like it or you don't baby right 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 okay there's a lot of people get caught up in the uh they think everything social media real though. Like, you think a lot of people take it too serious, or they don't realize it's just entertainment. Yeah, in a way. In a way, I guess you could say that. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know about that one. Uh, you feel like likes and followers. Like, I know Instagram before took away the uh, the comment section. Do you feel like that was good or bad? Like, it's like now they can say you can take away the comment section from you. You don't have to see other people comments. Do you think that was good or bad? Like, since they did it, I feel like it depends on the person. Honestly, like if you let likes and comments get to you, that's letting social media run too much of your life, in my opinion. So. Um, you should be able to monitor your comments. Like, you should be able to turn your comments off. I mean, it depends on your following, honestly. Like, I don't really have too much of a problem with that, honestly. If somebody comments, like, some something that rubs me the wrong way, I just block them. Um, likes, I mean, shit, likes are likes. You could wake up one day and gain hella likes or followers. So, I mean, you can't really, like, let that phase you. Yeah, a lot of people trying to go viral and shit on social media. Though. Like with the clout, it's though. so easy. But like, a lot of people be like, "Oh, you're you're trying to go viral," but it's like people don't realize how much money you get from social media. Like, social media is life now, whether you like it or not. There's no way around it. Social media is life. So, let people try to go viral. Let try to let people try to get famous off this shit because there's so much money on social media. It's crazy. And the people that want to be like, "Oh no." I'm not doing this on social media. I'm not doing that. Okay, you're dumb. You're dumb, honestly. Like, people that think they're so mature for not being on social media. 
No, that's all cap. But some people say it'd be on social media, they, uh, you know, they be a dozy or whatever. They're looking at other people's business and they don't like that. Okay, so be private then. But still, like, you could be a very private person and still be active on social media, still be posting and putting out content. Like, brand deals come so easily. Like, you never know who's going to um, run into your page. Okay. You got like deals, or whatever, like for Fashion Nova, any brands? They even not present. Fashion Nova. Um, I'm. I've kind of been like distant because I like doing my own business ventures, like myself. So I haven't branded myself into them because I have something that I'm working on for myself right now. So I don't want to be like repping another brand when I'm gonna have my own, if that makes sense. But um, not as far as deals, but like I do a lot of photo shoots, video shoots. I'm starting more runway and events like that, so. Okay, okay. Do you like, like, you like guys with DMU or like when they approach in person? Guys? Yeah. I don't like neither, honestly. You don't like being approached? You don't like people talking to you? I'm not like, no. I definitely don't like when people approach me in person. Like, guys just rub me the wrong way, honestly. Because I feel like... I'm in the mindset where I know how easy it is to pull a man and I know that men are so easy. In my mind, I can have any man I want to. That makes me not want men, period. Like y'all are not y'all. Let me not say y'all, but I just know how easy these men are. Like men that I would like be watching on TV or men that I grew up with my dad, like looked up to kind of in a way. And I'm like 15 years old and they're DMing me. I'm like, ew, like, this like, what guys DM you? What celebrities DM you? Come on now. Don't even put me on the spot. You'd be surprised. Actors, rappers, uh, athletes especially. Like but what they said to you. Hey, what's up? Where you from? Small talk. You screenshot this and send it to your friends? No, I don't have friends. Okay. But that's... Media? Are you socially awkward? Um, I wouldn't say that. I would just say I'm not friendly for real. Um, I don't really like to talk to too many people. I don't like people knowing like what I got going on unless I'm the one saying it. You know what I'm saying? And you say you was 15. How old you was now? 20. So five years ago, you had celebrities you seen on TV. Didn't yes, you? the like, first, what? the first athlete. No, that this when I was 15, I was an athlete. And, I mean, I never post my age, but, like, if someone were to ask me, I've never lied about my age. But, yeah, the first one when I was 15. Also, there was also a, um, a rapper when I was, I think I was 15 or 16, and I, I told him, like, you're not my type. And he ended up blocking me, and to this day, he still has me blocked. Ooh. I'm not telling you. He's a Florida rapper. I'll tell you that. Uh, he will, no? Yeah, for the most part. Julio? No, no, but he's been in my likes too. You can't, you can't be putting, you can't be doing this. Just no, just no. I'm just, I'm just trying to ask the obvious question for the views, likes and views. Of, you know what I'm yeah. Saying. Have you ever been flown out yet? I'm not that kind of person. I could have been a million times, but why would I take the opportunity? What or have I you been before? Ubered? No. I, first of all, let's start with this. I just got out of a three-year relationship. If you backtrack that, I'm 20 years old. I met him when I was 17. So I was I didn't have sex until after high school. I had had sex with my high school sweetheart, and then I got my relationship. That's two men. So you all them, have you been flued out? Have you done this? Have you done that? No. That's why I'm saying, like, I can have any man I want to, and I don't take advantage of that. Mm. Because I don't feel like a man can do anything for me that I can't do for myself. Now, what, what makes you say you can have any man you want? That, don't you say that? Because men are easy. Men are easy. Men are the easiest thing. Uh, and I feel like, as a woman, you have to realize that you are the prize. Mm. Shit, in my last relationship, I didn't see that shit. So you say you feel like you're the prize? Absolutely. I bring everything to the table that I need to bring. And the only thing a man could do for me is provide me with sex. And I don't need that. Mm. So you just look at men as like sex objects, what you're saying? I don't look at men, period, is what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, if I were to be in relations with a man, I don't expect anything from him. So 
I can pick and choose. You know, like a lot of girls would be like, oh, I want money. I want this. I want that. Like none of that shit matters to me. So that's why I kind of just chill. Don't you feel like, because if a man were to say this, like, don't you feel like you're being misandrious, though? In the what? Saying that you just look at men, you don't need men, you don't care about men. Don't you feel like you got hatred, hatred towards me? Keep, keep, okay. No, because, like I said, I just got out of a relationship, and when I am in a relationship, I'm a very nurturing person. Like, I want to take care of you. I want to spoil you. Like, I want us to be happy, obviously, but... When I'm not, like, I don't see no reason to be in a man's face, like, at all. Like, I don't go out thinking, oh, let me go talk to this man. Like, let me go be in this man's face. Like, I'm just not like that. Like, I'm, if I'm not in a relationship, like, I'm focused on me, focused on building myself up. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, do you believe pretty girl privilege is true? Yeah. And what has pretty girl privilege got you? Or do you feel like you fall in that category? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really do too much. Um, so, But, like, if I were to go out, I have a section ready for me. Um, it, just by going out, I was able to get a job um, as a bottle girl, which didn't last long, but... Um, anytime you go out, there's men wanting to buy you drinks. And like I said, I don't go out often, but when I do, um, just small shit, but yeah, I don't really do too much. So I don't really know how that would affect me. What's your ethnicity? I'm Italian. Okay. So you, are you black or you're not black? No, I'm white. So you, you, okay, you're white. So you got the, uh... The J Lo thing going on, like Jennifer Lopez, kind of Latino and black. Okay. No, uh, nah, no, I'm not black. I'm white. Well, you're not okay. You're not black at all. I just said I'm white. Okay, okay. I thought you were mixed, though. That's why I said it. Mm -mm. Do you use the N word? No. And I'm assuming all these guys who, who approach you or whatever in your day, they were black people, right? Black, black rappers and shit. Athlete. The rappers, yeah, but white rappers too. Shit, Spanish. Mm, Spanish rappers. Okay. There's one Spanish rapper. I think he's Spanish, or he might be mixed. Okay. Did they be sending you a number too? Hmm. Do they give you their number? I don't enter. I don't entertain. Like I don't really entertain. Okay. Right, right. Fact, fact. So you're not really starstruck by them. I already went through this. No, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm hey. trying to be like, you know, Tom Brady's wife, how she's a model and she damn near makes more money than him. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to be on. So you saying you want a rich man, but you just trying to be like? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying. I mean, that was he's rich. I want, I want, I want a power couple, but I want to be like my own up there doing my own thing like i don't want to be attached to a man that's already made it like i want us to come together if that makes sense mm -hmm. i know tom brady very well dude. and he's his white. so is his wife period yeah exactly. i mean that's i mean that's the term power couple come from yeah i was gonna say it might be different viewpoints for me and you because you're looking at tom and i'm looking at his wife you follow him on instagram mm -mm. So, so that's what you're doing a model you're you're a model Mm-hmm. You feel like models be like, you know, they got big egos? Or they like self centered kind of? I mean, maybe, yeah. As they should be. It's kinda it's kinda hard not to be because you have to have a certain level of confidence in front of the camera. So I mean it, it it's hard because people that don't know you might think like um you're self centered and then you get to know somebody and it's like wow. Like, this is, like, the nicest person I've ever met. So, it really depends. When, people, when, they, when they meet you, what they usually say? Like, when they meet you on Instagram in person, they say you nice, they take you humble. Um, say? Most people, like, because, like, sometimes I have a resting bitch face real bad. So, like, everybody, 
even growing up, always thought like I was so mean. And then they get to know me and they're like, wow, like you're actually so sweet. And like you would do anything for anybody. And I would. And that that's kind of like something that I'm starting to hate about myself. That I would do anything for anybody because people take advantage of that shit. Did they use your kindness for weakness? Hmm? You said they use your kindness for weakness? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And how tall you is? Five six. Okay. Mm. You're a pretty tall girl. Mm -hmm. How long you been model? Five years. Four years. Four or five. Okay. Okay. And uh, dress size. What's your dress size? Damn, I don't even know because that's crazy. I just got asked that question, but I don't know, like, because really, I don't buy dresses to where they have like a size from like zero or seven or five. Like, I'm usually like small, medium, large kind of dress, you know, okay. like usually fancy dresses have a dress size. Like prom dresses and shit. Mm. Okay. But like, I'm usually a smaller medium if that helps you. Depending on what it is. Okay. And uh, what, what kind of man are you looking for? Like no, your I'm next looking one. for a man. Well, with your next relationship though, if you if you were to find um, you the next one. You I'm next looking one? for somebody that knows how to communicate. Um somebody who prioritizes me um somebody that communicates somebody that prioritizes me someone that is focused on um like building a family because i feel like in this generation like marriage is not a goal like there's so many just baby moms. I agree. huh i said i agree yeah like there's so many people that are just baby moms or you end up a single family it's like see my parents like they're still together but they fight all the time and i don't want that either so i just want like a healthy relationship i want to be married i want to have a big family i want to be um like the wife and the mom that host the holidays and stuff like that and that's like something that i've always wanted since i was little like i set short term term um goals for myself like yearly on what i want like when i turned 18 my goal was to get my dream car and i did that and it's like my number one goal is to be a mom and a wife over anything. Like, I don't care about nothing else. I don't care about the money. I don't care about nothing. I just want to be a mom and a wife. So, like, what, what kind of husband you want? Like, you got to be rich, make regular money. You got to be, like, what, what kind of husband do you want? I don't Future. care about, um, I don't care about the money. Like, as long as we're happy together and, like, we're, like, we're steady enough to have, a normal life like we don't have to be rich like obviously I would like for us to be rich but as long as we're straight when it comes to like money and our kids are straight then that's all that matters mm. okay okay and you don't really care about what kind of job you're doing now as long as it's just as long as it's a job shit mm. and your job, what's, your, job? What, what's your job gonna be though Oh, I'm about to be a nurse in, like, a year and a half, so. But even that, like, I've always had, like, a business mindset, so um, I'm not worried about myself at all. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, last time you weighed yourself, how much you weighed, you think? I'm, like, 153 healthy right now, but I'm also bulking, so. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. Do you feel like the man that you want will want you back? Um, I mean, I don't know because there's not like a specific thing of what I want, you know, like, I don't know. I just want happiness. And so, I mean, shit, I don't know if he'll want me back. All I'm going to do is my best and shit, if you don't like it, oh, well, on to the next. You can't you can't force somebody to like you or you can't force somebody to love you. So Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Um 
if you had to rate yourself, who you rate yourself as? As far as what, like personality? This uh, looks fresh face out the show. Damn, why are you making me do that? Wait, uh, first of all, I'm gonna give myself a ten off it. Okay, that's good confidence, right there. You know? I mean, it's great confidence, right there. <laughs> I don't know, man. What's the difference between somebody being confident and they being just arrogant? Though? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You have to, You there's like levels to it. So, I don't know. Like, if you wake up in the morning and you could just head out the door, I feel like you're confident with yourself. Like, you feel like you're confident, period. You can walk out the house. But if you, I don't know. I feel like you're a little arrogant. Though. Am I? Like I feel like I just I I just know what I bring to the table and. What do you bring to the table? The table, the whole table. Oh man, guys, oh. guys, guys, listen. Listen, red flags right there. You have to you have to realize in that three year relationship I settled. So now that you, like you I'm, kinda, I'm coming, listen, I'm coming back into my power, knowing who I am again, and that's just what it is. If that comes off as arrogant. There's arrogance. Cockiness. Oh, wow. Shit. <laughs> you... Social media bullshit. Huh? I said it's social media bullshit right there. You know how many times I've deleted my social media? You have to realize. So last year. Wait, wait. Before you answer that, why do you feel like you're the table? Because I am. Like, I bring everything that needs to be brought to the table. So you, so I, you know... I provide. Listen, I provide the table. And you still can't bring shit to the table? But you, but you ain't say what you provide. You just say you the table. I'm like I am the table. What what, what, um, it, what do what, I need to provide? Tell me that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, a whole lot. I cook. <laughs> I clean. I pay bills. I'm pretty. I got a good head on my shoulders. Like, he can get what? a maid for that. He can get a maid for that. A maid? A maid, yeah. Shit. Get a maid then. Men men will literally not bring shit to the table, not have a job, not have a car. Fuck whores. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Damn. Why they gotta be whores? Because the, all these bitches are ran through. All these bitches are ran through. It's Who's very rare bitches? to find a female that's not ran through. Very rare. You'd be surprised how many bitches or men have diseases and you would never know because they're out here fucking... People don't respect themselves, give their body to just anybody, and then every all that negative energy that's in one person's body transfers to your body. Now y'all got depression, trauma, all combined. I don't fuck with that. Are you a feminist? Eh. Are you a feminist? Is yes or no? I'll say no. Why you had to guess? I feel like you lying. I know what women lying. Though. That that's a lot of me right now. You had to, I mean, you know. I'm like, I'm nothing. I I just believe what I believe. They, they sound like feminism, though. I wouldn't say that. Why? Why would you say that? Why? Why do you? Why do you, would you say that? Like, you want to ask me all the questions? Let's ask you on your little podcast. Hold, 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 hold on, this is my show, though. Hold exactly. Hold this is my show, though. You gotta let me run the show, though. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta let me run this, though. I run shit. Let me whoa whoa. Let me quarterback this. Let me quarterback this. <laughs> that sounds like a feminism, though. I support women. Oh shit! <laughs> well, you know, modern day feminism is basically saying females rule and men ain't shit. That's what modern no. day. No, because see, I wish I wish you would like have me on Instagram during my little um relationship phase because I'm very like. My man, my man, my man. But I don't know. I Do feel you hate like, men? Huh? Do you hate men? No, I love men. Um, sound like you hate men. Though. No. Sound like bitter, cocky. No, not at all. I think you oh. hate men. Have you been hurt? Have I been hurt? Yeah. Um, I was, yeah, I mean, I guess it kind of hurt, but like it was my choice at the same time. Um, how old he was? It was last year, so I was twenty. And he was the same age as you? No, he's twenty three. Mm. But like, I'm perfectly 
fine moving on like right now I'm moved on um, I took my time to heal and it's like me being the woman that I was for him will transfer on into my next relationship because the nurturing person that I am is not going to change just because of what I went through you know like I won't put that onto the next man I won't hold the next man accountable for what my ex did like I don't hate men. I love men. But some of y'all ain't shit. And some of y'all don't deserve shit. Y'all deserve the hoe on the corner. The hoe that fucks your friends. That's what y'all deserve. Mm -mm -mm. Some. I'm not saying all. Just like, I listen, I hate women more than I hate men, honestly. If I'm being honest with you, I hate these bitches. But I think you hate yourself. Do I? I think you hate yourself, probably. No. Okay. You say whores or whatever, like, how would you define whores? Because, you know, everybody got their own definition of whores. So like you, a you man know? whore or a whore whore? Like a woman whore? I just feel like if you give your body to anybody, you are out here fucking anything every weekend, every day. Um, you don't care about what you do. You don't care about who you give your body to. Like, to me, that's nasty. And that makes you a whore. Mm. Okay. And that goes for both genders too. So you ever been a, you ever been a sugar baby? No. I told listen, I just told you my whole damn past. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just asking. You. I wish I could. Damn, these old men spend that money on these young girls. So you've been tempted to be a sugar baby. Do I what? You've been tempted. I mean, shit, if I knew how, I probably would be. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. But they, so they, you saying those old men came at you before? Mm-mm. Oh, that, that's, that's something I feel like um, a girl has to go out of her way to do, you know? Like, you I know, have to sign they, up they for this thing. That, huh? They got apps for that, you know, to be sure. Yeah, that's baby. what I'm saying. Like, you would have to sign up and, like, put yourself out there for that. Mm. But good for them. Shit. You say you got a drink. What kind of car you got? Uh, Mercedes. Mercedes Benz. What year? 2018. And I got it when I was 18. So I was a year old when I got it. Parents bought it or you got it? I got it. I don't know too many 18 year olds got a uh, Mercedes Benz. That sounds like you sound like a sponsor. I really. I've been working since I was 15, so I felt like I deserved it. I don't. I mean, it's not completely paid off, obviously, but. Is this in your name? Mm-hmm. You got a Mercedes Benz. What, what kind of Mercedes Benz you got? A like, GL, GLA 250. GLA 250? You went to the Mercedes Benz. It was, a, it, was my, it was supposed to be my mom's car. So is it your mom's name or your name? You say, you say your name, right? It was supposed to be my mom car, like, for me to become a mom. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. That sounds like sugar baby stuff right there. It sounds like you had a sponsor. I wish. I, I mean, I'm a server. Servers make money, so. You'd be surprised. You, mm -hmm, man. It sounds like you got like a sponsor, a manager, somebody behind you making these making these moves behind the scenes, pulling these strings. Yeah, I wish I did. Damn, I carry my own weight and some more shit. Oh really? In my past, yes, I did. In my past life, I'm a born again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I feel like I don't want to believe though. For some reason, I just don't want to believe though that you had just got this car. Yeah, put a down payment on it. Yeah, a couple thousand. Not nothing major. How did you get a couple thousand dollars? Where do you get this kind of money from? I'm a server. What do you mean? What do you serve? I'm not serve? poor. I ain't say he was. I don't, that's Damn. Just, that's just, if you, if, if people with a normal job could buy a Mercedes if they wanted to, it's not hard. Really. If you have good credit, you could you could get whatever you want to. They can't. Well, normal people can buy those cars if they have a man supporting. Like women, when women get nice cars like that, they have a man supporting them. Oh no! Majority. Listen, of listen, time. listen to me when I tell you this. In my three-year relationship, I don't think he paid for one thing. So if that helps you think about, have I had a man paying for my shit? I wish. 
And that's why you might think I'm arrogant or whatever, but like I literally went through hell those three years trying to like be there for him. Um, and that's why last year I was depressed as fuck and had to get out of that relationship. So wait, wait everybody done been through something. You know? Exactly yeah. and shit. I learned cry, you got to cry me a real so, one. Everybody been through something. Yeah, I exactly, get back to this. But I want I want to get back to this vehicle. Wait, wait, wait. Don't talk. Okay, I want to get back to this car. How how much your car payment is? This? Uh, four hundred three eighty. Mm. What, what do you say? You work at like a club, a bar? Or? Yeah, it's a sports bar. Sports bar. So you racking up tips, basically. Mhm. Mm Hooters. No, I wear fucking bootcut jeans and a polo shirt. It's mm. I, it's old people all around me. Not Twin Peaks or nothing like that, right? Mm -mm. I wish it. If there was one near, yeah, I would be there. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What y'all think, audience watching this? Man? You think she's paying for this on her own? Or... Boy, you want to see my bank statements? Damn. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I was just, if I ain't know no better, I'll be saying that with cap. Cap in your raps. Yeah. It is, it is. Everybody that knows me knows I've always been like this, so. Can't control yeah. the baby. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. When the last time you been on the date? What'd you say? When the last time you been on the date? I, if it was up to me, I would say I've never been on a date because I paid for every single time I went out to eat, so. I've never been taken on a date. Actually, he might have paid, like, once. And... It was probably like a year or two ago, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, a year ago. You ever shoot your shot at guys? Oh, you said you don't highlight guys. You said. What'd you say? I said you ever shoot your shot at guys you like. Mm -mm. Why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never like. I don't know. I just don't go searching. Mm, let it come to you. Yeah, like, I feel like if it's meant to be, God will send it to me. Holy fucking shit right here. Toxicity right here. <laughs> Holy shit right here. Guys, this is the type of women you avoid at all costs right here. Most definitely. Avoid these women right here at all costs. Right here. They, they, they have nothing to offer. Come with the women. morning label. Oh, what? They have, they have nothing to offer right here, guys. They end up with a decent face, and that is it. They gonna give you nothing but hard, hard in control, guys. These other women. That's Jeez. why I got this platform to expose them. You better ask. Oh my goodness, ask what? <laughs> Sorry, you think you're toxic? Um, not unless you did something to make me toxic. Like, I'm very understanding, but, like, it's only so much you could take of something before, like, you start yeah. getting angry. You start explaining yourself. You, start, you, went, you went around the corner, then around the back, then around. So that's okay, so, thing, no, I'm not toxic unless you give me a reason to be. Okay. It's that simple. Anybody ever call you toxic before? Hell yeah. Why you think they did it? Huh? Why you think they did it? Because in that moment, I was being toxic, but I was being manipulated, so I had a reason. I felt like I did have a reason to be toxic. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, maybe they call you toxic for a reason. If you're hearing the oh, story. Oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm admitting to being toxic, but, bitch, you gave me a reason to be toxic. You were toxic. The fuck? Mm. Men don't take accountability. That's the problem. No women don't take accountability. Yeah, I'll take my accountability. You just heard me say I was toxic. Shit. Yeah, okay. What's, what's some of your toxic traits? Um, I snap quick. Um, that's really it. Like, I really do snap. Like I don't, I don't know what else would be toxic. Like you say, you spent what that mean? Like you put hands on men? Or no. Raise your voice. 
Verbally no, assaulted? Huh? Would you say verbally assaulted? No, because I, like I get scared of it, and like I mean, you, learned, you, you had you had you had laugh a little bit. You had to get like a nervous laugh when you did that, like verbally assault. Cause like what? I mean, just... I mean, I've gotten disrespectful. Hell yeah, but like I feel like the words that I say are more like disrespect. Like I'm disrespectful, but I don't like scream like. I mean, shit. I probably have a few times, but. You ever got physical? Like, I'm more physical? no. Actually, I did get physical one time, but like, it was like when we had broken up. He pissed me off, so I threw my phone at him and started hitting him. And I'm not proud of that, but he did way worse. So we ain't talking about him right now. We're talking about you. Exactly. So the yeah. Right there. But it wasn't like I didn't like punch him in his face or nothing. Like I don't. I don't. I don't fuck with that. So when you were punching him at? His leg. He was like under. I think he was like under my damn blanket. I don't remember. I just remember throwing my phone at him and I black out when I get mad. So. So you're making excuses for it? No. Um, so. I just want to know if he was on the other foot like a bagage just said that. You know, I just black like out. Like I said, he did worse. So. All right, wait, wait, he wait, deserved wait. everything. Listen, listen. Exactly. Listen. No accountability for the man, but when the I'm female not saying that, dude. But exactly. Listen. No, y'all are not ready for wait, that conversation. Wait, you wait, keep... wait. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me on this. No. So let a man. I just want to know if a they man. They do, and they do. Say that, threw his and phone at do. you and hit you in the leg. Wait, 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 wait. So if a man threw his phone at you and hit you in the leg, I just want to know how how people look at that, dude. Don't get me started. I don't know. I think it's like I think the first double standard. Men be doing way worse. It is. It is a double standard shit. But so we can't say about the men. You gotta. You gotta talk about you too. Start. And I did. Yeah, I was wrong for that. But shit. You apologize. Like I said, like I said, everything starts with what? Did you apologize? Hell yeah. You said you were sorry. Did you apologize? This is different hmm. hmm. Good question. I know. I don't know. I don't really remember. I was, I think, I mean. You do know. You remember. No, honestly, you just don't I don't want to think I apologized. Huh? I don't even think I apologized. And you feel like you ain't got to? You feel like you ain't had to? No. It's terrible right here. See, this is the lie she's been told to her whole life. Like, the world just been handed to her guys right here. The world like been this. handed to me. See, that's that's how I know you don't know me. You just are judging me. I ain't, me I ain't saying what? I know you personally. Judging but me off for of what? I, I, I know the situation. I know women like you. Shit. I promise you don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What well, makes you not ever apologize? You can't, you can't judge me based off of the questions that I'm answering that you're giving me. No, what I can judge is off, you know, from what somebody's saying to me. I can judge that. Ain't nobody saying shit. You know, I'm just judging what based off what you're telling me. That's what oh, I'm okay. So okay. judge what I'm telling me, I just, you know, I just think that's a bunch of bullshit, though, me personally. Though. You know, so you was talking about what he was doing, but I don't know. I'm like, you but know. I just, I'm sitting here taking taking accountability for what I did, so what are you, what are you saying? You didn't apologize for what you did, or you didn't take accountability. Really. You never apologized to me, so fuck him. Let's stop talking about this shit. Damn, like I want, I want to think about this shit no more. He, I, in that moment, I did not feel like he deserved an apology because what he did, he was looking for a reaction, and he never apologized when when he was doing the shit that he was doing. He didn't apologize to me. He didn't consider what he was doing, so. See this right here, as a man, you're supposed to lead. And, and as a are? woman, how do you expect a woman to be submissive when you act like a bitch? Let me know that. See, he's calling men bitches, guys. This is what we're talking if, about right here. If these you act people. like one, you get treated like one. And that's this a lot of these problems come from men not respecting their mother. I feel like this comes because women don't respect their fathers. And I don't respect bitches. my father, so She's not gonna respect the man. Guys, I can't lie. I can't lie. With her father. I can't lie. Exactly, but that's why I will not settle because. Oh God. Because oh, of that. 
This is a headache right here. So I'm headache. A headache I'm shift. Settle, settle for what, dude? Call it what you want. For a man that acts like a bitch. <sighs> Insulting men, calling men bitches, and hitting men. I'm not. <laughs> this isn't. This isn't all men. This is my experience with the man I dealt with. Like, well, and I'm not discrediting right him. I'm not discrediting him. It's all well, love. I'm well, just saying what I was going through in that moment. But wait, wait, wait. Let a man say this. Women will say this is... Uh, let a man say this. A man say this. They call him misogynistic for hitting women, calling women bitches. A lot know, of it, men hit women behind closed doors. They just don't get in trouble for it, so... I think a lot of women hit men, too. I mean, verbally assault men and behind closed doors, they don't get called up. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they do. Hell Yeah. <sighs> But out of three years, I threw my phone at you once. Shit. I've been through worse with the same person, so. Oh, God. Same. Yeah. Cry me a river. Cry me a fucking river is right. Shit. Cry me a river. Jesus. We're living, ain't we? Cry me a river. This is yeah. Nice. This is the pampered, pretty girl, privileged bullshit. Pampered. Yeah, by myself. From myself. Thanks, boo. Whatever.